Hi, uh, N.A. Jason William Michener Galbraith, uh, G-A-O-M-G. Just want to share with you uh, where I'm at in my life with the, this big surgery coming up on October 20th is I'm really taking time now and reflecting how many amazing things I've accomplished and it's all documented uh, on YouTube through the media, newspapers, radio, TV, everything that I've done. It's all for real and documented. Uh, and so now just looking at like this Pro-Am Surf Contest I was in, looking for Kelly Slater uh, to beat his ass. That is one of my uh, accomplishments I'm really proud of. Uh, running the LA Marathon, doing the whole Conquer LA with AFID, knowing every step I took during the marathon there that I could die and I did it anyway because I would rather die fighting for my dreams than do nothing and let my dreams die. Uh, this was one thing that I did also is running up the uh, Empire State Building. I got a really nice write-up in Columbia University. I posted it on the gram, but it's, it's pretty cool to, uh, to have that. And where my mindset was in 2006, it's the same place I'm at now. Back then, I, I was quoted, I want to show the world my determination. Michener said, I just can't wait at home for things to happen. Exactly. I'm a doer. I'm not somebody that just sits around and hopes things will happen. Uh, my biological son, if he is my son, I'm not uh, Spanish at all. And I'm barely Irish, and it's just from my paternal side which I'm also uh, Welsh too. I got some Welsh. That's pretty crazy, like cool stuff that I'll explore later on. Right now I'm on the whole mission, Scotland, claiming all of my ancestral castles, titles, and lands. But with this uh, coming up is that, again, I'm just taking stock of everything that I've accomplished and done. And there's just so many things that I've done. I mean, this is like me skydiving right here which is cool, but I also skydive with a copy of my book in my hand, in my Speedo, and it's on YouTube. I'm definitely the only author on planet Earth that has ever done that, along with so many other things that I've accomplished. I'm very proud of everything, and I'll be very proud going to Scotland with my 10th book, second trilogy that I've written, No AI. You have to watch uh, Colbert. He just had Neil deGrasse Tyson on and he was just walked in like he's the smartest person in the in the room and he, usually he is and he was talking about how AI is so great and everything which I agree but then Colbert asked him he was on Colbert to promote his book that hopefully he wrote not Ghost Riders and AI but Colbert was like, uh, well, how do you feel about AI taking everything that you wrote? You're not going to get any credit for from it. And then having somebody else just put their name on it, regurgitate it. And it was so funny because it caught uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson cold in his tracks. Who's making fun of liberal arts uh, students and everything like that when Colbert said that? He was like, well, uh, yeah, I don't like that. It was hilarious. And Colbert was like, oh, now you do feel for the liberal arts majors. So I'm all for AI and everything except for uh, artwork. You do artwork, there's painters that, that are called forgeries. And uh, I've seen like clips on them that they, they brag that they can paint better than Van Gogh, paint better than Picasso. That is so irrelevant. It's that Picasso, Van Gogh, they did it first. They thought, you uh, everything that I write, I'm creatively bringing something that doesn't exist, something new. And that's what the artists do, and that is what AI should never, ever touch. So anyway, I'm excited about everything I've done. I have a big uh, fight of my life coming up for my heart. And I'm not too happy about that. It's going to, you know, change my physical body uh, for a little while and stuff. And I pride myself on just being a physical specimen, uh, even at my age now. And uh, the pandemic, I thought I'd be able to fight again at 45. And then COVID and the pandemic, three years went by. I don't even know. Now I'm getting close to 50. 
Holy moly, dude. Anyway, cheers.